we have something extremely, extremely special that we're going to start the show off with. Are, are you ready, Tachi? Because you're you're the one that's going to be introing this thing. Are you, are you ready for this? Um, sure. All right. All right. So we are going to do something. We promised this last week. We are going to reenact a scene from Star Wars, but we're going to do it in Shakespearean English. So it's going to be, it's just going to be fantastic. And because I'm already slurring my speech and I had two shots and two beers before the show started, <laughs> it's going to we're be, we're going to see how it goes. <laughs> it's going to be epic. It's going to be yeah. great because this, these are tongue twisters as is, and I can't even pronounce my own name. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Yeah. William Shakespeare, Star Wars by Ian Dosher, Barely, A New Hope, Act 5, Scene 3, Faith Aboard the Millennium Falcon. Enter Han Solo and Princess Leia. <laughs> Thy rescue hath been wondrous. Thinkest thou not? Say I at times, I do myself amaze. Amazing hath my rescue has been, amazing is my hand at piloting, and amazing all my part in this escape. Amazing, eh? Tis true, my handsome looks. Amazing is thy pride and love of self. Thus stand I now amazed that e'er thou shouldst allow thy great amazing self to stoop so low that thou wouldst rescue such as I. But let me now amaze thee, if I may, by telling thee that thy amazement is misplaced. For never have Imperial ships let enemies escape with such great ease as thou and thy amazing vessel have now just amazingly escaped. Nay, nay, callest thou this venture easy? Princess, psh. I'll warrant we are being tracked even now. This ship shall never track it be, good sis. Methinks thou dost upon this vessel far too great a trust beso. But none of that, I merely am relieved that R2 doth the information safely in him guard. But wherefore does this matter, princess, say? What carries he? Rebellion's greatest hope, for he doth hold the readouts technical unto that battle station. I, the one that such great power displayed o'er Alderaan. My hope it is that when the data be read, an inner weakness we shall find. Though thou hast seen this battle end, the war has not concluded yet. But there thou erst. Thou dost not speak my mind, for the ship and its pilot, princess. "'Tis concluded now, I have not joined thy revolution. Nay, my purpose runs not to rebellion help. My purpose runs to assist thyself. My purpose runs... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay, okay. Hold on. I got to go back. I got to go back. Character. <laughs> Wayne's World. Okay, there we go. "'Tis concluded now, I have not joined thy revolution. Nay, my purpose runs not to rebellion help. My purpose runs not to assist thyself. My purpose runs towards one aim and one aim alone. And I do speak it plain. It shall be paid, and I will be paid, and every aspect of my being lives in expectation of the moment when thou shalt my coffers fill." O oh, fiendish knave, be thou concerned at naught or thy reward. If thou in money dost find love, then surely thou shalt have it, I. Enter Luke Skywalker. Thy friend is every part a hired man, a mercenary with mo no mercy he. I question whether he doth care for aught or anyone. Exit Princess Leia. Pray tell me, Han, what dost thou think of her? I tell thee true. My mind is settled fast when it thinks of not her, of her. Tis well, tis well. And yet the woman truly hath a spirit bold, and yet I know not. What thinkest thou, I pray? Thinkest thou a princess could with me be? Nay. <laughs> Exeunt. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Did you just, we killed that. That was easily one of the greatest <laughs> podcasting moments in the history of podcasting. 